Hey, Shalom. When the start of his always by giving no praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. My double honors to the apostles of GMS. And honestly, brothers in the work and truth, was sincerity. Around the brother Ras Mark, from the brother Lapash. Right, uh, yeah, you know, we, we was just on a on a uh, you know, a little expedition, right? Because uh, obviously we've got we've got some galleries down here in the UK. And uh, I remember this painting that uh, Apostle Gabar uh, basically went into, right? Which I got more information on the here. It says, by Carlo Crivelli, the Annunciation with St. Emidus, 1486. Right? And you zoom in here, you basically see w what is a, a wheel within a wheel. Right? Shooting laser down. Right? Basically showing you that in the ancient world, they knew about the chariots, man. Which... You know, like we said, that was, what, 1486? So that ain't even that long ago, right? But these things seem to have been forgotten by the people, man, right? You be where We'll be at the camp, we'll be speaking about the chariots, and people try to look at us like we're crazy, right? But these, these are things of the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. Well, precept. Yep. Uh, actually, I'll get Zechariah 5 first before I get Ezekiel. Uh, this is Zechariah chapter 5, verse 1. Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked and behold a flying roll. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered and I see a flying roll. Yep. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. So Zechariah the prophet saw, um, saw a chariot in the sky, man. Because he said it's a flying roll. That's how he mm. described it, you know. Because think about in that time, what flying thing would you have, have had in the shape of the roll? Mm. You know, you ain't going to have no plane. Back then, you're gonna have no drones, mm. you're not gonna have no air balloons. So, what did you have? You had a flying roll, that was a saucer, man. That mm. was a flying saucer, as they like to call it, which is um, the chariot of the Lord, man. That's right. And it actually gives the example of what it looks like in Ezekiel, you know. Um, and it says, Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. So pretty much, man. Hey, um, if you if you um, keep reading, it pretty much it's gonna when when the when Lord comes with his chariots, okay, then so called UFOs, mm -hmm. he's coming to destroy this kingdom, man. Yeah. You know that like it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be salvation unto the elect, but to everyone else, it's gonna be a curse going upon the earth, man. You know when they see them chariots, they're gonna be afraid. Yeah, yeah, because those chariots are coming to uh, uh they're coming to save. <laughs> But they're also coming to destroy this 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 uh this this king help destroy this kingdom, right? Isaiah sixty six fifteen. For behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to rend his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Yeah. Right. Hey. So that what that's going into is the fact you know the statement that was just made about how oh, the the Lord's going to come to save. You know, that's that's going to happen and we'll get into those scriptures, you know, you're using these chariots, right? However, those chariots are going to be burning people up, right? And when we read, uh, uh, it was the second Ezra, the 13th chapter, right? When all, when this, when this destruction has happened, when, when the East, when America's been destroyed, you know, this fighting, they're going to try to fight, they're going to try to fight against the Lord, man, right? But guess what's going to happen? They're going to get burnt up uh, after a sudden of uh, peaceable multitude, there was nothing to be perceived, but dust and smell of smoke. Right? Khan, if you bring up that image, it actually shows like a circular, a wheel. Yeah. That's within a wheel. And you know, hey, that's in the scriptures. Yeah. You know, so these people were seeing these things and they were also reading the scriptures and you know, there was an actual, because we see chariots to this day. Yeah. You know, there's all these different videos and different sightings of them. So do you not think that was not happening back then? That's this right. Is, um, this ain't no new phenomenon, you know, like in the full that's, that's right. superior technology. This is Ezekiel chapter 1, verse um, 16. It says, The appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of a barrel. Right? So when Ezekiel was looking at this, color of barrel, I believe, is green. Yep. So he was seeing the green chariot. Okay? And it said, um, And they four had one likeness, and their appearance and their work were, were work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Okay? So that's giving an example, because... If you read Ezekiel, the first chapter, it describes the angels and it describes the chariots. And, you know, the chariot is a vehicle which the angel travels in mm. as well. Okay. So it actually says um, a wheel within a wheel, man. And it actually explains that when you it, when you look at the, the picture, you can see the wheel within the wheel. Okay. 
And it says, when they went, they went upon their four sides and they turned not when they went. Okay, so if you, you know, so that's in the scriptures, man. Okay, pretty much that's, you know, straightforward. And I was going to say as well, uh, you know, um, if you read Acts the first chapter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it links up with Isaiah, I'll, put, I'll get Isaiah 66, you know. Well, it says, uh, Acts 1, um, we'll start from verse 9. It says, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. And the cloud received him out of their sight. Right. And, hey, so you read, you read throughout the scriptures in certain places where it refers to a, a, a cloud. It's either it could be referring to a literal cloud or it could be referring to a chariot. Yeah. Right. So it says, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. Basically, he was abducted, quote unquote, you know, as, a, as is as is the, um, you know, if you were to Google abduction. Right, he got uh, beamed up, beamed up, beamed yeah. up, beamed up. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's that's like the better word to use. Yeah, beamed up, you know, in that whirlwind, man. Yeah, yeah, just that's like right. uh, you know Elijah. Yeah, you know, it says and the cloud received him out of their sight, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, what which also said, "Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing? Uh, 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 why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven." Shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Right? So, hey, you got it? Yeah. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 5. And from Yahusha Mashiach, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and have made us kings and priests unto, unto Yahweh, uh, unto, sorry, unto God and his, and his father. Okay, he was his father is Yahweh. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever a man. Behold, so that's I just read that so you know that we're talking about Yahweh Shai, which mm. is um, so-called Jesus Christ. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Mm. And they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so a man. So he's like the brother read that precept with, mm. the, with the cloud. So every eye is going to see him, and that's the way that the Lord is going to come back. Yep. Same way that he went, as the as the angel said. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it says all the uh, kindreds of the earth are going to well because of him. That's right. Because they ain't never seen anything like this. This is going to be an invasion mm -hmm. of chariots, man. Yep. They're going to think, you know, because he saw tell them all there's uh, little green aliens, little grey aliens in there. Yeah. Nah, man. Hey, that there was one account where this guy was given an interview and he said to the woman, you know, yeah, I saw the, you know, I saw the angel. I think it was, he might have been a pilot. Yeah. yeah and he was like, yeah, I saw the, uh, angel. I saw the, 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 the chariot and I saw mm -hmm. what was inside it. And there was a man who was dark. He was very, very dark. No, you said he, he was a black man. He was a, he was a black man or something like that. And the reporter was like, well, you mean a very, very dark man? Or and something. he was like, no, he was, a, he was a black man. Yeah. You know, basically, you know, because he could see them, the, you know, with the afro and all that, mm. and the angels, man. Mm. You know? So when he saw that, that goes to show that, hey, this, you know. Yeah. This is, hey, there's accounts, man. Yeah. And the, the, the scriptures say it, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they, the reason it scares them and we can get into that in Wisdom 5, mm. is because of all the wickedness that they've done to, quote, so-called, uh, no, well, to so-called black people, man. Right. Right? All of the wickedness, because then, then they're going to have to be like, shit, so, wait, this superpower also is black. Shit, does, does that mean these so-called niggas are superior to us? Which we are, right? And and to, to in, in, in times to come, right, it's going to be made known to the people, right, that the children of Israel... Of the superior upon the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Any more, man? Uh, yeah, that was the point. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 66. Verse, you're going to get wisdom, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on. I'll just read this quickly for you. Yeah, yeah. This is Isaiah 66, and, Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and he and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So that shows when this alien invasion, as as, as Esau would try and call it, which you know, an alien just means stranger. Mm. Okay, which uh, you know, to the majority of people on the earth, it is going to be a strange thing, because they don't understand. They they don't understand, mm. you know, what's really going on. They're not looking to yep. these guys. They haven't got the understanding. Yeah, uh, which precepts for wisdom five. Yeah, because they think oh, this is this is a strange thing, you know far beyond what they ever thought because what they ever saw in was in movies they're not going to fully understand what the hell's going on but the elect are going to understand exactly. you know and you know what and the elect are on the highways and byways pushing this truth telling you know the prophets are on the highways and byways 
telling you, look, this is what a charity is. We're doing this video now. We're telling you, so you got no clock for your sins. You hear right. this? That's right. If you hear this, then you know that we told you, yeah. man. So when it comes to pass, then you're gonna be like, oh shit, that's they were talking about that. Yeah. You know the law's coming back to lay the smack down on this place, man. He's coming to render his anger with fury and his rebukes with flames of fire. So mm -hmm. then that means what? Hey, man. In all the midst of that turmoil, World War Three, the law's coming with them chariots, and you know they got them laser beams, man. You know, pursuant to Second Ezra the thirteenth chapter. That's mm -hmm. right. This is uh, Wisdom 5 and 1. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labours. Mm. Right? Uh, and hey, you see that happening now, man. You know, you got you, all these camps all around the world. Right? Jay Israel just standing there uh, 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 basically cursing Esau out when he's made no account of our labours, man. Right? To this day, we're just, Jake is just lazy. Oh, you're lazy. Well, you wasn't calling Jake lazy when he was working for free for 400 years. In fact, if anyone's lazy, it's, it's a so-called white man. He didn't work for 400 years, mm. right? Yeah, he has a nerve to call anyone else lazy, mm. right? So when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they look for, why will it be strange? Right, because but as a brother pointed out, these guys ever uh, have haven't ever seen chariots before. And right? when they've seen it, you always been these, you know, like saying these little green men, whatever, what have you, right? And uh, and you know, then they're going to be seeing the the ones whom they despise being beamed up into those chariots, right? It says and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom he had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness, and it's fools, man. You're you're a fool, right? To touch the apple of the Lord's eye, you you a fool, man. Mm. Right? Says and his end to be without honor. Right? So you look at Jay, you think Jay doesn't amount to anything, right? Which hey, a lot a lot of Jay a lot of Jay cut up pieces of shit, and you know like like, like, like we we believe when we said that also in the video that we did yesterday. Hey, we don't we don't sugarcoat, you know. We don't try and make it seem like our people are. These saints or whatever, we know a load of our people are off. But hey, the Lord, the Lord knows, and the Lord's got a solution for them to be washed. They must first die and be born again. Mm -hmm. Right? It says, Therefore have we heard from the way of truth, and the light of righteousness hath not shined on us, and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through the deserts where they lay no way, but as far as the way of the Lord, we have not known it. Right? So, I mean, it carries on, but yeah, it's all about the strangeness of that salvation, man. Right? Which the Lord is going to come with that with them chariots, man. That's right. Uh, this is Second Ezra. You done on that? Huh? This is Second uh, Ezra chapter thirteen, uh, verse three. It says, and behold, and lo, that man. Talking about Yahweh Shai. Wax strong with the thousands of heaven. Talking about the angels, the chariots. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth faileth when it feeleth fire. That's some laser. Mm. You know? And it says, And after this I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue that man that came out of the sea. But I beheld, and I don't mean that the Lord's going to come out of the ocean, man. Mm. Okay? And that's, it's talking sea. about the sea. Yeah. You know, waters. It's talking about there's different waters. There's different shamayim, different heavens, man. It means the Lord's going to come from the heavens, man. The outer heavens. Okay? It says, But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. Talking about that great chariot that the Lord's coming in. It's going to be a massive chariot, man. Okay? And it says, But I would have seen the regional place whereout the hill was graven, and I could not. It was so massive, you couldn't see the ends of it. Yeah, it was massive, man. You know, in Independence Day, you know, they got the massive chariots. Mm. It's going to be bigger than that, man. You know, they couldn't even fit it into that Hollywood movie. It's as it's like, it's like big as a city. It's going to be massive, man. Mm. And it says, um, And lo, as he, and after this I beheld, and lo, all, that, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid and yet durst fight. That's the remaining armies that Esau was going to have. That he's going to try and come up against the Lord with, man. Mm. Okay. And lo, as he saw the violence of the... Just like they had in Independence Day. Mm. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war. 
But only I saw that he sent out of his, fi his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flame and breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. And all they were mixed together, the blast of fire, the flame and breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight, and burned them up every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. Mm. So, he, so you know, Ezra was seeing this vision, and he was describing it to the best of his ability as a mountain. But the funny thing is, you know, they, they show this in the movies. Okay, you got that massive plasma type laser, mm, you know, mm, like they mm. had on Independence Day. That's what is really they're basing it on the scripture here. Yeah. So that's actually gonna something that's gonna actually happen, man. The Lord's gonna come and do that. And the funny thing is, what other thing do you know that is gonna blast a fire, a flaming breath, and a great tempest? What other thing do you know that mixes it all together and casts out sparks and tempests? No, you, that, 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 that's that mm. superior military technology, that laser, mm. you know? So that's something that the law's actually coming back to do, man. So he's he's not coming back to... to Hold hands. Yeah, he's come, he says, I, I come not to make peace. Mm -hmm. what, what does it say to... Um, to, to okay, I, I came... Uh, 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 yeah, but I came to bring the sword, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll roughly I'll paraphrase uh, it. Let me find it. Uh, I bring... Okay. Think not that I'm come to send peace. Rather division, I think it was. Mm. Okay, yeah. Matthew 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Mm. So, hey, you know, the Lord ain't down with it. The Lord ain't coming back here to have no um, sit-down debate, man. Okay? This is going to be a straight invasion. That's right. This is going to be a hostile takeover. That's what the Lord's looking to do, man. Mm. So First Thessalonians 4, 16. For the Lord... Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of, of the Most High, and the dead in Yahusha shall rise first. Right. So hey, those, those brothers, those elders, you know, um, that have died, you know, in, in truth, right, serving the Lord, they're going to be raised up first, right? It says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Right, so once again, that's not talking about a cloud. We're not gonna be, you know, brought up and then we're all gonna be on a big, you know, Nimbus cloud or yeah. or, or whatever. Yeah. That's talking about them chariots, man. Right. So we we hey, go and be beamed up into them chariots, and that's the salvation. That's the strangeness mm -hmm. of the salvation. Right. And this, and you know, you might be like, might be talking about the the destruction. And I remember one guy asked me that. I was like, so how how, how are you going to be saved? Well, and I told him about the chariots, but he wasn't able to receive it. Mm. Right? What preset? Yep. This is Psalm 68, verse 17. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Yep. So, hey, the Lord's got his chariots, man. That's right. And they're a great number. I had, a, I had another quick preset. Yep. This is Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. And I saw heaven opened, and behold... A white horse, uh, you know, uh, white represents like purity, okay, light, and horse represents power. Okay, the Lord's coming in that big chariot, man, okay. And it says, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And that's talking about Yahweh Shai. He's faithful and true. And in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. So that's what the Lord's coming back to do. Because right now an enemy is running the earth right now, that's man, right. the thief. Okay, and he's going to have to be put to, put to an end. This kingdom is going to have to be, put, be brought down with a military takeover, man. And that's what the Bible is prophesying, man. Through who? Yahweh Shai's return, man. So, you know, when people say, oh, you know, it's, you know, so-called Jesus, they say Jesus is going to return. Mm. But that's what the scriptures say. He's going to return, and he's going to return in a big way. This is, uh, jump down to verse 14. It says, and the armies, notice how it says armies. It doesn't just say a, a big multitude. It says, you know, it's ordered which were in heaven, followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth go off a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fear, fierceness and the wrath of the almighty power. So, mm. hey, the Lord's coming back, man, okay, to rule the nations with a rod of iron, man. Okay, and it starts with that superior military technology, because That's right. because if you look at the Roman Empire, okay, they were pretty much... You know, they had the iron grip on the earth. Okay, they had that superior military, man. And they had that superior technology. Okay, and this is the second leg of the Roman Empire. And Esau's blessing is the sword that has been mm -hmm. given to him from the Lord. So, hey, 
you know, he's going to get taken. He's getting the first. He's getting exposed. The prophets are exposing his lies, his, his, yeah. his deceptions. We're breaking down strongholds with his word, and then the physical takeover is going to happen when the Lord actually returns, as it was prophesied in Acts one. Yeah. Okay, and different scriptures we're reading, like in Revelation nineteen, he's going to judge. He's going in righteousness. He's going to judge and he's going to make war, man. Mm. Okay, and he's going to. He says. He says he's going to plead with all flesh, and the stain of the Lord is going to be many. Yeah. Which the word plead there means shapat in the Hebrew, which is a uh, judge. Yeah. So that's what the Lord's coming back to do with them chariots, man. That's right. That's right. That's okay. right. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Um, I mean, I haven't got anything else. Okay. I haven't got anything else. Yeah, yeah. So just want to share that with you, brothers. Um, you know, like I said, it, you know, the, the, the museum was local. And, you know, brothers, you know, we had a day off. So we just said, uh, you know, let's, uh, you know, let's go, go view it, you know. Our last closing scripture. Okay, cool, cool. This is Isaiah 31 and 5. As birds flying... Right, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it, and passing over, he will preserve it. So the Lord's going to come to defend Yerushalayim, man. Mm. You know, the city of peace, which starts with the men of of the elect. That's right. Which, you know, the women and children you know, of the elect, man, of the nation of Israel, you know. That's right. In Yahushua, man. That's right. So, as always, Lord's word, I was edifying. Until we meet again, Shalom.